Welcome boys and girls. We are looking at the structure of the earth. Now, there are three main layers of the earth and they are the crust, the mantle and the core. The crust consists of two parts. We have the upper crust which forms a continent and we have the lower crust which is formed below the continent and water body of the earth's surface. Now, we have the little sphere and the little sphere it is made up of the upper mantle and the crust. Let's talk a little bit about the crust. The crust is the thinnest layer and it is that layer on which we live. Okay, so the crust, we have the continental crust and we have the oceanic crust. So the continental crust is sometimes referred to as the upper crust and the lower crust is sometimes referred to as the oceanic crust. The mantle is known as the thickest layer the mantle is also divided into the upper mantle and the lower mantle and the mantle is found just below the cross now the material in the mantle it is molten all right they call it molten rocks and this is known as magma The rocks in the mantle has been reduced to a liquid form due to the heat that is inside of the earth. The, the core is the central part of the earth. And the core, this layer, is divided into the inner and the outer core. It is said that the outer core, it's liquid and the inner core is known to be solid now scientists believe that it is the core that is responsible for the earth's magnetic field so because of the magnetic field that is why we are able to use our cell phones and our satellite dishes and things of that nature now the importance of the magnetic field is that it it acts like a bubble so what it does it protects the planet from charged particles floating around in the solar system such as those from the sun let's recap quickly so today we look at the structure of the earth and we said the earth is divided into three main layers and these layers are the crust which we live on we have the mantle which is just beneath the crust and then we have the core, which is a central part.